I knew it. I knew I was, I should have just stood on it. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Let's go upstairs real quick, because I didn't get to search up there at all. Hey, money man. I'm just curious if you... Yes? If you missed me. John is right downstairs. Yes or no? Answer the question. <sighs> Fine. Of course I did. But don't read any more into it than that. That sounds positive. Positive it gets. Alright. Uh... <laughs> oh, you're not ready to die just yet. Oh, wait. Yes, what? you are! Oh, that's... See, I'm fucking up big time. I'm sorry, guys. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Walk your fucking dumbass. Protect the stupid shoes. The monster. That sounds positive. Okay. That... <laughs> you 
have to work hard and sleep hard right, in order to earn your way right six it? feet under. What did I tell you? Oh my god. I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is I don't even know what else to do. City. This is my plan. Nobody will interfere. <laughs> that sounds positive. All right, now we go upstairs to put it on the bed. I don't know why the stroller's acting up. It's like acting up like you can't push it. Works fine up here. I take you by night, by day take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> I know this part is not all hard, guys. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm gonna die because I really I can't do it. Yeah. Uh... Oh goody. It looks like you've got both feet in the grave. Oh my god. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, gotcha. Something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Oh boy, that's a lot of buttons. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but you look good. Even with what looks like right a bad. piercing gone wrong. Right yeah. Not great or anything, but good. You look great too. I didn't say great. I said good. Okay, duly noted. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You keep saying that. You're like a broken record. <laughs> 
playing guard is getting pretty boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. Yeah. something nearby we can use. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, but they were purely aesthetic. Okay. Yeah, I think it might be a trap. Maybe, but we already made it past the line of security, so maybe not. Your certainty is assuring. <laughs> USB drive. Detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Uh, shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. Hephaestus protocol enacted. The decryptor! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, their group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. Fantastic. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius, this is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? Yes. You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. As always. Oh, that's a deep shot. Bye, Bruce. It's been fun. Getting rusty. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit. You're coming out blurry. Skilled you are with your hands. Oh, 
especially bold <laughs> move considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirty. Move, John. Ah! laptop for myself and I'm finishing this my way <clears throat> Harley's laptop huh you and I we're going to talk what, okay. what are we gonna talk about somewhere else oh boy fair fucking tactic I stare like I fucking did something. Wow. Oh, that's the stuff. Half trust day. So, John, about the laptop. Um, you know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J O N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's oh, the most okay. intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? I guess you could say she's my heart. I'm not sure she's good for me, but I just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I'm tearing up. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here. Uh, Drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who can solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. But how do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. You'd be surprised what people will say when you just let them talk. All you need to do is give them space, and the secrets will spill. Uh-huh. Act interesting. Let them keep digging. Fascinating. Acknowledge that you hear them, but don't get in their way. Yep, makes total sense. <laughs> give them dating tips over here. Nice try. I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me 
everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Let's try it out. Now, first thing that comes to your head, what do you see? But don't think. Let your gut guide you. Mm-hmm. It's a napkin with coffee stains on it. Stubborn. Just like me. That's what I said. But then I realized I wouldn't get any help from the doctor by being such a stick in the mud. You're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> Is what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> now, this one. What do you see? We should take all my goddamn coffee, boy. I don't know, it looks like a like a maze. The alleyways of Gotham. Ah, a complicated path. The way out isn't clear. You ever do the mazes in the back of those activity magazines and doctors' waiting rooms? I have. A ton of them. Been waiting my whole life just to be seen. What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one more. John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. There's a line, and that's beyond it. I mean, she's like... And you were like... Bruce. Tell you what, though. Coffee's on me. Bruce? Oh, boy. Okay. So, you won't tell it to me, but he's not uh, shot in the dark. Um, he's not also not gonna uh, give me the laptop that easy. So, I'm not being the best friend, I guess. Evening. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. I was there, Jim. You just didn't see me. But of course, I know you can be trusted. Wish they hadn't gotten away. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. Uh, by then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Okay, what's his favor? Lucius Fox. What about him? I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I 
I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him that. Bruce Wayne is dirty, and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Damn it, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. I've got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. I can't ask you to break the law, Jeff. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. I trust her now. But can you trust her to do the right thing? You know what must be done. It's done now. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't! It's too much! I'm the best friend you have, Spandex, or whatever I see. You can trust me. It's... What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Wow. Quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. Here you are, in the flesh! <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. 
I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I, I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, now when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> Like these, they mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. Oh, this is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. Won't be disappointed. <laughs> I don't know if I should trust him in there. Motley Crew. Dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud. I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. Okay. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Impressive science freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne, he's cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> huh. I never would have guessed after he shied away from beating the last man I suspected. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it did it? Bane, come on! I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a more. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid just like you. I got mouths to feed. Man, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? Bruce! Really? It appears your time is up. Sorry. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! No! Ah! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? 
You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch. I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It. <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca. You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. I changed my mind. I'll help you. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top! That hurts, Bruce. The high five is a time-honored traditional way to express brotherhood. Hey, you two! What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet. But we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Which is good. For you, because you need help. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe possibly potentially can't handle it alone. I'm really the only man for the job. Me and only me. You time out! And you, we need to talk. Okay. Everyone wants to talk to me. Why me? <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess, but no, it's John. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. <sighs> hey, I was hoping you'd catch up to me. 
I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. You should have expected I would. I've helped you before. And it surprises me every time. Now I need you to help me. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. Yeah, it does. That's the night I saved your life. First time I saw you. We had something then. Same as we do now. A give and a take. You want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Maybe it is. Maybe you're just my kind of crazy. And maybe you're mine. Well, have a good night. Selena. Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddler's like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Maybe we could actually work together for once. We've had our fun, haven't we? <clears throat> and it seemed like, for a moment at least, you wanted more than that. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure. Really. Slow down there just a little bit. With me, you have to earn a kiss like that. So, I'd say it's time to find a black site. I should play it hard to fuck again. What the fuck? We'll probably need our own supercomputer to get into his laptop. But something tells me you might know where to find one. Come home with me. What's at home? You'll see. Just rid of that fucking screw me. They're throwing me a lot of fucking curveballs here. 